Morning. In today's lesson, uh, lesson 3.2, page 105 of your textbook, title of our lesson is Relate Addition and Multiplication. Our essential question for today is how is multiplication like addition and how is it different? So let's get started with the unlock the problem. Tamika needs three apples to make one loaf of bread, apple bread. Each loaf has the same number of apples. How many apples does Tamika need to make four loaves? Okay, so how many loaves is Tamika making? She's making four loaves. And how many apples are in each loaf? So she needs three apples to make one. So there's going to be three apples in each loaf. And how can you solve the problem? Well, you can skip count by threes. Or add add three four times. So one way adding four groups like we did yesterday. Use the four circles to show the four loaves. Loaf one, two, three, and four. There are three counters or three circles in each group. Because there's three apples for every loaf. So let's add our three apples to each group. And now find the number of counters, complete the addition sentence. So this says three plus three plus three plus three. Three plus three is six, six plus three is nine, nine plus three is twelve. So it needs twelve apples. To make four loaves of apple bread. So if we were to skip down, we just go three, six, nine, twelve. Another way we could solve this: uh, when you combine equal groups, you can you can multiply it by how many at all. So we're going to think four groups of three, so that our picture would stay stay the same. We're going to draw three counters in each circle like we just did. And since there are the same number of counters in each circle, we can multiply to find how many in all. Same number of counters in each circle is important. You have to have an equal amount in every, in every group, otherwise you can't multiply. You can add, but if you don't have the same number of counters or the same number of objects in, in each group, you, you cannot multiply. So multiplication is another way to find how many there are all together in equal groups. And how will we write that? We write that as four times, the symbol means times, three. We call the four and the three factors. So there's always two factors in one multiplication problem. And our answer to a multiplication problem, in this case four times three is twelve, we call our answer to multiplication problem the product. So you can see it, you can write it um, horizontally like this, or you all see it also like this, stacked vertically. 4 times 3 equals 12. So and how do we read that? We read that as 4 times 3 equals 12. So let's review the factors. The factors are the numbers multiplied. The product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So it's very important that we do know those terms. All right, so let's continue. Write a related addition and multiplication sentence for the model. So here I see one, two, three, four groups, and in every group I see five. So what would I have to repeatedly add to solve this problem? Well, there's five in the first circle, five in the second circle, five in the third circle, five in the fourth circle. So 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 5 is 15, 15 plus 5 is 20. But if we were multiplying, we could list the number of groups first. So we have four groups, and in every group there are five counters. And four groups of five is 20. 
if we were looking at the math talk question, how would you change this model so you could write a multiplication sentence to match it? So here, I can only add right now because there's four in this group and three in this group. So we can't multiply when we have different amounts. Okay, so let's continue. Sorry, I got interrupted. Um, so we were talking about how we could change this model so that we could write a multiplication sentence. Right now we said that we can't multiply because this group has four and this group has three. In order to multiply, all groups have to have the same amount. So the easiest way to change this would be add one circle or one counter. Now we have two groups of four. Which is okay. So when you don't have that same amount, you have to add. All right, so let's move to page 107. <clears throat> Draw a quick picture show the equal groups. Then write related addition and multiplication sentences. Three groups of six. Three groups we represent with three circles. And in every group there are six. So fill in each of your circles, which represents the groups, with six. So we have six under each group. So we'll be adding six three times. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So six added three times is eighteen. Okay, in the multiplication problem, we have three groups. And in every group, there are six. So three groups times six is 18. Two groups of three. So we have two groups. And in every group, we have three. So we're adding three twice. So 3 plus 3 is 6. The multiplication problem list the groups first. Two groups times 3 in each group gives us 6. <clears throat> Draw a quick picture to show the equal groups. Then write related addition multiplication sentences. Four groups of 2. So four circles are my groups. Every group has 2. Two, 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 four, six, eight. I have four groups, and in every group there were two. Four times two is eight. Five groups of four. So that's my my model, and in every group there are four. Four is four is four is four is four. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. So we have five groups. Every group has four. So you notice that we've been writing these multiplication problems based on the models. We're listing the groups first and then the number in each group second. So five times four. <clears throat> Number six, this picture, I see this line here, so this is one group and this is another group. So I have two groups and in every group there are three. So two times three is six. So here, again these are divided, so I have six here, six in this group, and six in this group. Since there's an equal amount in each group, I can multiply. So I have three groups of six, 
No, no, three times six is 18. In this case, I see I have four groups, and in every group, there are three. Four times three, three, six, nine, 12. Number nine. So we have two added four times, that's eight. So we have four groups of what? We have four groups of two. Number 10, we are adding four, four times. Four plus four is eight. Another group of eight, eight and eight is 16. So we have four groups, and in every group there are four. And four times four is 16. Number 11, we're adding nine three times. Nine plus nine is 18. Nine more is 27. How many groups of nine do we have? We have three groups. Every group has nine, and three times nine, 27. <clears throat> All right, use the table for questions 12 and 13. So let's look at our table. It says the average weight of fruit. So our table is about the weight of each fruit. An apple, the average weight is six ounces per apple. An orange is five ounces per, per orange. A peach is three ounces. And a banana weighs about four ounces. So more is bought four peaches. How much do the peaches weigh? Write a multiplication to find sentence to find the number of peaches, the weight of the peaches. So we look over here at the peaches and we see that the peaches weigh three ounces. We bought four peaches. That's like saying four groups. Every peach is a group. We bought four, four peaches and every peach is the three ounces. So you're adding three four times. Three, six, nine, twelve. Four times three is twelve. Okay, so let's continue. Thirteen. Thomas bought two apples. Sydney bought four bananas, which weighed more, the two apples or the four bananas. How much more? Okay, so let's just do this here. So Thomas, two apples, so he bought two groups, and an apple is six ounces. I'm just going to write the number six in each group there. And Sydney bought four bananas. You can show that with four circles. And each banana is four ounces. So I'm going to put four in each one. All right, so Thomas is six plus six, four, two times six. And Sydney is 4 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4, or 4 times 4. Okay, 2 times 6 equals 12, 4 times 4 equals 16. Okay, so which one weighs more? You might come up with a different explanation, but basically the four bananas weigh more because as we see here, four times four is 16. So the bananas weigh 16 ounces and the two apples weigh 12 ounces. So 16 is more than 12. The bananas weigh more. 14, Shane said that he could write a related multiplication and addition sentences for six plus four plus three. Does Shane's statement make sense? Hopefully you recognize that that doesn't make sense because we said that in order to multiply, you have to have equal amounts in each group. So 
You cannot multiply. Let's say each add end is not equal. You could say true. Write a word problem that can be solved using 3 times 4. So let's think about this. The 3 means I have 3 groups of something. And 4 means I have 4 in each of those groups. So I don't know, like this. Mr. Hammond. You can come up with your own word problem. Mr. Hammond has 3 stacks of math papers. To grade each stack. So how much how many do I have in each stack? Well it told me I have four. So each stack has four math papers. How many math papers do I have in all? How many? <laughs> How many math papers does this family have to prove? And then okay, it said solve the problem. So I have three groups. And in every group, there are four papers to grade. So I'm adding four, three times, four, eight, twelve. So there are twelve papers to grade. Sixteen. Select the number sentences that represent the model at the right and mark all that apply. When I see a problem like this, I do like to see what the total is. Because obviously if you're going to have an equal sign, my answer has to be to what the model is showing me. So I have six here, six in this one, and six in this one. And we've seen this problem earlier. Three, three groups of six is 18, but let's just confirm that. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. All right, so I have a total of 18 counters. Well, A doesn't make any sense. You, I do have three groups, and there are six in each group. It's not three plus six. So nine is not, can't be that one, which means it also cannot be that one. So let's see if B and C work. Do I have three groups of six being added? Yes, I do. And how do we write 6 plus 6 plus 6? We write it as 3 times 6. So that's, that's it before relating addition and multiplication problems. So if we have an addition problem that has the same amount of objects in the group with the same number of add-ins, I can rewrite that addition problem as a multiplication problem. All right, so now you're going to work on your independent practice on lesson 3.2 in Go Math. If you have any questions, you can stop and ask me. You can also review the video as well as use your textbook. Because we, as we continually say, the problems in the math book are very similar to the ones in your online work. Okay, tomorrow we will be working on skip count on a number line, lesson 3.3. Okay, so until then, good luck.